Are you wondering what I am gonna be working on this month? I bet you are, which is why you clicked on this video because it is my October plans video. So this is gonna cover all the things that I'm planning on working on and sewing in the month of October. If you're new here, welcome. Um, this is gonna be a fun video that hopefully inspires you a little bit. Um, You'll, you'll hear why more in a little bit, but maybe in a bit of an unconventional way. <laughs> um, but I want to say welcome and uh, leave a comment in the description box to, um, I'm sorry, leave a comment in the comment section to introduce yourself uh, so that I can get to know you a little bit better. Um, everyone else, please be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. So what I'm kind of getting at here is that, I don't know if it's the changing seasons or maybe something's up with the moon. I don't know, <laughs> but <laughs> or somebody's in retrograde or whatever any of that means. But I am feeling very much uh, like I need to be not necessarily focused on making new things this month. Does that make sense? I was recently watching some videos about Swedish death cleaning, which sounds very morbid. And in a lot of ways it is, but that's just got my brain thinking about just the accumulation of stuff, the accumulation of things, and how if I were to die tomorrow, so sad, um, what would become of all of this stuff? You know what I mean? A lot of it is things that I have ideas for in my mind, but nobody else will know that, nor will anybody else like execute those things. So I'm feeling a very strong pull to work on my works in progress pile, um, to work on my fix it or nix it pile, which is something that I have given a name to all the things that I get from Goodwill, where I'm like, oh, I'm going to do something with this. And I, I have this idea for that. And then I bring it home and then they all get put to the side. So I need to start working on those, whether or not I'm going to turn it into something new, keep it as is, um, or just donate it back um, to Goodwill. I have a bunch of like mending projects for some reason, like, you know, elastic has popped out of a dress or I uh, noticed that, you know how like whenever you go to wash something for the first time and you notice like you accidentally like clipped something too close or whatever. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff like that. So I have all these clothes in my sewing room that I could be wearing if they were in my closet but they are not. And in like the vein of like, I don't know, just cleaning things out and clearing things out, projects that are like halfway done, I also found this website called Destashify where it allows you to easily destash. This Destashify platform is a lot like Etsy or eBay for sewists. Um, so you can go on there and destash fabric um, you can also destash patterns. I've already gone ahead and started listing some of them. So if you're looking to shop for some used patterns, some of them are cut, some are uncut. Um, it's all the big four pattern companies mixed in together. There's Vogue, Butter, da 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 da, da. Um, So you can go shop for those. But more importantly than that, like, you know, in the vein of this video, if you are wanting to destash fabric, notions, anything sewing related, um, create a, a, a seller account. It's free to create a seller account. It doesn't cost you anything. You only pay when someone buys something. But honestly, for me, like to be able to sell the things, make a couple bucks and know that the patterns are going to a place where like, I don't know, I just feel weird about dropping patterns off at Goodwill. Like, are people going to use those to like decoupage a table or something? Like that would just break my heart. Uh, so the fact that they're going to go to a home with a sewer who lives in it, you know, makes me feel a little bit better. I just want to kind of mention it here, you know, as we're talking about the idea of like, you know, clearing things out and new, not a new beginning or fresh start, but certainly like making room for some of that, which I think is really important. Um, in sewing and of course in other areas of life too but also you know when it comes to our sewing as well um so i want to really get to work on those 
I have last month's Sew Together project, the um, Sinclair Daisy Top that I've cut out but not sewn. I have another one of those puff sleeve tops that I made. Remember the purple one? Um, I have a red sweater knit cut out that I want to make that. I still have my chemise um, that I have cut out and not sewn. Um, so there's just a bunch of things that are like in various states of like progress and I just feel like it's wasteful. It's, you know, like I was watching a TikTok the other day. Oh, and the girl was addressing kind of the, the idea of like there are people who have to finish every single morsel of food on their plate because if they don't, they feel wasteful. And so her point was that if you are eating beyond the point of being full, that is also wasteful because your body doesn't need that food. It doesn't need the energy. It's got what it needs. And so everything else is just processed as waste anyways. And that made me start thinking about it, how it relates to sewing, because like, yes, I love getting things from Goodwill and like saving them from the landfill. And like, but if I just bring them here, is that really helping all that much? I mean, yes, maybe it is prolonging its inevitable arrival <laughs> into the landfill, um, kind of giving it a pit stop at my place. <laughs> but why am I storing like stuff that it belongs in the landfill? You know what I mean? So I'm really, really feeling an urge and feeling called to like, just address a bunch of this stuff and get it out of the apartment. I think too, like I've been in this same apartment since we moved to Charlotte. What was it? Four years? Uh, time is like, what is time? Uh, I don't have any idea how long ago it was. More than three, less than six. <laughs> so four or five years. Um, and you know, when you're in the same place for a long time and things start to accumulate, I, I am also feeling that. So maybe it's like a combination of all of those things. What I saw on TikTok, the Swedish death cleaning trend, the changing of the seasons and being here for so long that is calling me to just, you know, get rid of all of this stuff that's just like halfway done or have a plan, but I haven't executed it yet and all of that kind of stuff. That said though, there is one thing that I'm going to be making this month from scratch and that is for Sew Together 21. Um, the Sew Together 21 pattern for October is the Ellie and Mac Be Mine cardigan. Super, super cute cardigan with like an empire waist seam kind of. Um, a bunch of different sleeve options, but a bunch of different lengths. Um, it's a really, really sweet take on your traditional open front cardigan. So um, went shopping in the stash as I do and I pulled out this sweater knit that I thought would be really great because I could just wear that. Cause that cardigan is like kind of frilly, you know, it's got a lot going on. Um, so I wouldn't wear anything more than just like a basic tank or tee under it anyways. So I thought with this one, I could wear the burgundy tank top, the black tank top, a beige tank top, you know, and have like lots of variety <laughs> in that regard, um, to wear this with. So that's why I picked this sweater knit. I've had it for a while. I think I got it from Stylemaker Fabrics. Maybe not. Can't remember. Um, very lightweight, pretty much sheer, um, cardigan. So I'll also be able to wear it like you know, fall now, you know, like late summer, fall. Um, so that is the only thing that I'm going to be making, making, but I should be able to have a lot of projects done since a lot of them are already cut out. Um, a lot of them are just refashions. A lot of them are just mending. Um, so I'm excited to see the accumulation of that by the end of the month. But what I want to know from you guys, since this isn't like a traditional plans video where I'm like, here's the pattern, here's the fabric, look at all this, get super inspired. I'm curious to know if you guys ever experience this yourself. I mean, I think as a YouTuber where it's a little bit of my job to like inspire you guys and like, you know, bring you new patterns and new fabrics and stuff, but I'm human too, you know what I mean? And I am a real life home sewer, just like you guys are. Um, and so I just wonder like, is this, this can't just be me, right? Like, um, I'm always super, super transparent with you guys. And I never want to, I never want the channel to feel like forced or anything. Um, so I feel like if I were to call out a whole bunch of things that I would be making and then just miraculously never get to them, that wouldn't be super authentic. But I do think that we can kind of come together and support each other and commiserate about the idea of accumulation of things, especially when you're a hobbyist. 
um, and your hobby requires so much stuff to like make the things. Um, if you ever just get to a point where you're just like, I need to do like a, like a cleanse almost, like a cleanse of the projects <laughs> is what I'm doing. So let's chat about it in the comment section. You know, let me know kind of if this idea resonates with you, if this comes across, how often does it come across for you? Are, are a lot of us feeling this right now together? That would maybe more explain the seasonal sort of inspiration. Um, so yeah, let me know. And of course, I would love to know if this inspires you to do a deep cleanse of your own projects. Um, that would be like a full circle moment. So let me know that too. Um, but if you are just absolutely craving a traditional plans video, I've linked last month's here for you so you can see all the things that I was planning on making in September. Um, link that here in the end slate for you. I've also got it in the description box if you're watching on mobile. But that is going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!